Everybody used to be being loud, hanging out, making moves all over the town. Ride a big car, showcasing my style. Hey, my beauties, it is CC, your frugal goddess. Oh, God, y'all see the light reflecting on my glasses and stuff. Y'all know why I'm coming to y'all today. Just to talk and kick the bubbles a little bit because I ain't been on in a minute. And I really want to share something with you, uh, one woman to another, okay? Ladies, you know, if you... Let me, let me start here, okay? I... Uh, I have lived in the hood, okay? I did not grow up in the hood, you know. Um, I grew up upper middle class, and that does not matter because, you know, I have lived in the hood. I have lived in the hood. I have had mice. I've had roaches um, and what have you, okay? So, I understand, you know, I'm, I'm understanding to a lot of issues and what have you. I'm also really open, and I'm never judgmental. Like, I don't judge people on um, whatever they do because I done did so much for real <laughs> I done did so much you know that I can't get down like that 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 wouldn't sit right with me to judge anybody but I'm here to tell you if you got a problem in your house and you got somebody that comes and visits you and spends the night you should let them know you should, you know just be open about it hey look I got an issue going on or whatever and um, you might not want to spend the night or what have you. Let the choice be theirs, okay? I went over a good friend of mine's house. A good friend. I'm talking about I've been knowing this person probably about 10 or 12 years. I mean, we have shared some really intense, intense, intense stories and talked with each other. The same night I was over there, you know, I broke down and cried about some things that's been going on with me and whatnot. But the next day, I woke up, and do y'all see this? And that's nothing. It's all. I mean, I'm eight completely up. It's all down my leg. All down my leg. I'm not going to show you. I can't show y'all everywhere. It's, at. it's on my butt. Up on my hip. The same leg I just showed you is on my hip. I am just ate the flu flops up. And y'all know I'm going to cuss. But <sighs> yes, I'm ate up. And this is like one of my best friends. Do you hear me? This is like one of my best friends. I mean, I, I could tell this person anything. And I feel that she should be able to tell me anything. And y'all, I went over there, and this is how I left out of there. I mean, like, my son, he is cussing me out and stuff. He's like, Mama, the hell you doing over there, man, like that? You know what I'm saying? My son and his fiance work hard as hell. You, I mean, seriously, they work really hard that when I do come to visit, I don't have to get in a hotel or nothing. You know, uh, they have a nice house. Anything, everything I need or want, they have it available for me. You know what I'm saying? And my husband, he works hard as hell. So I'm just sitting here like, man, you know, I'm not trying to be judgmental or, you know, bougie. Well, oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not trying to be like that. But And um, to tell you the truth, the caliber person I am, because I did take it to her, I'm like, you got something in here that done ate me alive, you know. And she just kind of played it off like, oh, for real? You know, and that's it. Not, oh, yeah, I, you know, uh, this, that, or the other. But what I'm going to do, because of the person I am, and that's my friend, I'm going to go get her some bombs. I'm gonna, I am don't know what... I think from what other people have told me that it's probably the I only want to say it too loud, but that's probably what the situation is. So I'm gonna go get her some bombs and stuff. I'm gonna help her set her bombs up. Um, and then we gonna while the bombs are going off, we gonna go take the kids on a picnic or whatever. And then we gonna go back and straighten her shit out. But yeah, I mean, y'all, 
for real, for real, if you have an issue or whatever, just tell somebody. I would rather you tell me than this right here. For one thing, I had my kids with me, and you know, we never know how stuff will affect our kids, will affect kids, and especially my little Cheyenne. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know she has special needs, so it's certain things. Just what may affect me differently may affect her in a totally different manner. So, you know, I just feel like if you, are, yes, y'all, I'm just scratching. I'm ate up. I'm ate up, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm ate up. And I don't want to take another Benadryl because it's just, I'm already drowsy from all the Benadryls I took. So, let me try to contain myself. But, yes, you know, if you having a problem, woman or woman, if it's something, I'm going to tell you what my daughter said. My daughter, she's like, Mommy, ain't nobody going to tell you they got that. I'm like, shit. Oh, place. Well, yeah, I said it. Shit, why not? And she's like, no, mommy, people don't tell you that. She said, but if I had that problem, I wouldn't have nobody over my house. So if you too embarrassed to let a person know that you got an issue, don't have company. Don't have company. You know what I'm saying? This is woman to woman. This is us girls talking. Either tell the people you have, you should be able to either tell them, get them some folding chairs or something they can sit in where they ain't got to sit on the stuff and get injured, or get um or don't have company. You know what I'm saying? Don't invite people to your house to kick it and you know they finna get eaten alive. Cause I have literally, y'all, this don't make no sense. Do y'all see this? Look at the fat. Look under here at the fat part of my arm. All down my back, y'all. Look at that. I look like I got chicken pox. My baby told my mama, you look like a dead on Dalmatian. But yeah, I'm finna get on out of here. I just wanted to share that with y'all. You know, just keep it real with people. Keep it 100. That's what, you know what, matter of fact, that's gonna be the title of this video. Let's keep this thing 100. You know what I'm saying? If you got mice, tell people. If you got, well, you know, roaches ain't, they don't care. They're going to come out and kick it with you. But if you got an issue going on, let people know. Do not leave people in the dark. That is very, very unfair. That's extremely unfair. And then with me, I'm probably whelped up like this because I'm allergic to all insect bites. Any type of insect, mosquitoes, bees, any of that, I'm allergic to it. So... Also, with me being ate up like this, it's got me feeling sick because of the allergens. You know, my body is allergic to the allergens that these animals or these insects carry. So, you know, this got me messed up a couple of ways. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. We're going to say a quick prayer. Yes, Lord, I humbly come before you in your precious son, Jesus' name. I thank and praise you for allowing us to make it through this day thus far. Lord, um, I ask that you just... Lord, I ask that you do something about this these bed bug epidemics. This thing has gotten out of hand. All oh, it seems like it's all over the United States that people are just getting bed bugs. And this was something you did not hear about, you know. And Lord, so I'm just asking that you just do something. You intervene on this um, invasion that we are having. This epidemic, intervene. And start clearing some of these things out, Lord. And I ask this in your precious son, Jesus' name. Amen. Y'all, I'm out of here. Remember to be your own kind of beautiful. Tell somebody you love them. Later. I love y'all.